What's going on, bottom line viewers? It's Mitch back here with another NFL free agency reaction. Bradley Roby has signed a one-year $10 million deal with the Houston Texans. The Texans have been searching, looking for corners. Every single year, it seems like they've struggled at the cornerback position. And because Kareem Jackson left, because Tyron Matthew left, they really needed a guy that could play slot corner. Bradley Roby really exceeded when he was able to play a little bit of slot, a little bit on the outside. He can kind of dabble and into every single position at the corner spot, and that's a versatility that a team like the Texans could really use, and they could really help replace Kareem Jackson specifically in that role. Now, Chris Harris played a lot in the slot as well in Denver, so Roby, he could play both spots, but he really did struggle when he was asked to kind of go up a notch and take over for Aqib Tlaib. This past season, he probably had the roughest year of his career, ranking 97th overall by Pro Football Focus at the corner position. But when you look closely at his career, he had his best year last year in 2017, and he's had a couple of pretty decent years as well in 2015 and 2014. So Roby is a promising player who I think still has some potential. And on a one-year prove-it deal, I think it's it's solid like you're not really losing anything here the Texans have a ton of salary cap to spend and I think Bradley Roby is an upgrade over whatever they had last year Jonathan Joseph is old and they probably have to re-sign him back and then you're looking at potentially looking into the draft for another cornerback I'm not really sold on what the Texans have there at the position right now but Bradley Roby will certainly help the position looking at some of his statistics he had two touchdowns in 2016 fun fact he has four fumble recoveries in his career a few sacks and he had 50 tackles this past season with one interception he has consistently played 16 games throughout his career he played 15 this past season and 16 all of the rest so he's a consistent player at staying healthy so that's good because the Texans secondary really can't stay healthy very often I think the Texans made a good move here because, like I said, low risk, high reward. If he plays really well, you sign him. He's a former first-round pick that still has a lot of potential, still has all the skills, and I've seen him make plays in the NFL before against very good receivers, so why not give this guy a chance? I actually predicted this to be his landing spot throughout free agency at the beginning of it, and I believe this to be a very good spot for him and I think the Texans they need to start to go to a little bit more of a man coverage style defense and that's exactly what Bradley Roby allows them to do let me know what you guys think about this signing do you love it do you hate it do you think Roby's overrated or do you think he's a guy that's worth taking a shot on it's Mitch at the bottom line view thanks for watching if you enjoyed like the video subscribe to the channel and we'll see you next time peace